Hi everyone and welcome to another video brought to you by Coric Group. Uh, my name is Kevin Keenan. In this video I'm just going to use a simple running track, circular um, track to show surfaces, uh, surface boundaries uh, and a surface tie. Okay so I've just opened up a blank TBC project and um, for this version I'm using version 5.51. So I'm going to scroll in because the scale is so big scroll into about 50 meters so first off i'm going to go into cad and just create a circle uh, the circle name i'm going to call it t o for track out and then on the layer i'm going to hit the zero and just going to put in a new layer called track design give it a color we'll give it green elevation we're going to give 100 and center we'll just pick the center here radius i'm going to pick uh 50 and i'll hit create so that creates that circle there 50 so i'm going to do another one go t track in inner track design elevation for this we'll do uh 98 just to be different and then the center so the center i'm circling going around my circle hoping that it'll snap to the middle so if you want to check down at the bottom you can go into your snaps then you can go midpoint intersection points perpendicular center point press ok and then when you actually hover around the circle it'll automatically create the center point for you if this doesn't uh work you can actually right click on the screen and go into centroid so there's all different functionalities in there as well so you can perpendicular intersections so if we go into centroid it'll ask you to pick the segment when you click on it it'll automatically uh, create a center point of the circle for you radius this time we'll go 45 and hit create so there's my my track there now so first off we're going to create a surface of this track so we'll go into surface create surface I'm going to call it track design and then this is going to be a classification design it's nice to give for the reporting uh, classification this is going to give it a light gray color and I'm going to select the two elements for my surface and hit apply so there's my surface there just to see it nicer in 3d there's the surface there okay so there's my track so if i right click on my 3d i can do a new vertical tab so i can see 2d and 3d together if you have a second monitor and you would like to see this on a second monitor you can actually right click go into flow view and then drag that uh, new window to another screen okay so now we have your track in here but you can see that i might want the inner part of this track it'll affect my volumes or if someone goes out um surveying it and dipping it will give it a cut and fill even though we're not doing any works in there we just want to work with the track that's where we go into um surface boundaries so if you go into surface boundary you pick the surface that you're working with so i'm working with my track design if you forget to create your surface you can also go in and create a new surface and you go into your boundaries and you select we we'll say this inner one so if i select this for now and hit add what it does is it takes the outer surface away because now that's a boundary and it locks in the inner surface so i don't want to redo that so if i hit remove it'll come back so what i want to do is add this one and if i hold up shift and the outer one and hit add it removes the inner part of my track okay so now that's that's complete okay so now my track's done so what I'll do is I'll create a new surface we say we call it OGL so my track is at 100 so if I go into CAD create a rectangle I'm going to call it name I'm going to just call OGL rec layer new layer I'm just going to call it OGL rec and this time I'll give it magenta color elevation we're going to put it at 102 just to be different actually we'll do it lower so you can see say 
98. From there to there. So there's that done. So there's my rectangle down there. And I'm going to create a surface out of that as well. I'm going to call it OGL. Classification. Original. And then just give it a... Maybe... Magenta. Again. And then surface. I'm just going to click on that. Press OK. So there we go. So there's the track now that was my original so you can see that my track now i need to tie this track down to that ogl so it's a nice clean batter to the original ground so even if the ground is undulating up and down you can use this surface tie command so if you go into surfaces here and if you go along here so we can drape stuff on turkey we can give it a texture break edge lines but you'll see in here uh, it's called surface tie so you click on that you give it a name so i'm going to call it tie i'm going to put on the layer called track design and this surface is what you want the to, to tie to so i'm going to click on this line i want to tie it to the ogl so it's the surface reference line is going to be my top one because i want to tie that down and the direction is i'm not sure what the direction is so if i click on right or left whatever direction it says i can click in there and just go i want it to go this side or this side so you just use your mouse in and out what way do you want it to tie so i want it to go out so i click out there and now that's my right okay maximum says so i'll say one cut slope i'm going to say one is the two if you have it in percentage you can put in whatever 50 percent you want 100 percent or the ratio so i'm going to save it the ratio and then if there was a fill, I also put one as the two as well. So because it's a nice running track, nice round feature, I'm going to keep the cornering and as round. It also gives you the option to add this to a surface. So I'm going to add it to my track design. If it was a new surface, I can just create a new one and call it the tie and keep them separate. So I'm going to add it to my track design. So I hit apply. And then that creates the tie for me okay so to re repeat that step i'm going to use the inner one so i'm going to call this tie 2 ogl this time reference line i'm going to click on this one direction i'm going to go on the inside and i'm going to change this one is to one one is to one round and add that and hit apply there you go Okay, so there's nothing, nothing there. Okay, so now that's done, I can go into my surface slicer view and just take a quick slice down through my surface. So you can see there's the tie in there. So in here you can go into your surfaces and show what surface you want to see. Okay, so you can select which one you want. So there's my lovely tie tying in in there, okay? So if I go into my 3D view, there it is there, okay? So you can see then that's my finished tie. So that one was no tie. Uh, because that elevation is already 98 and then you can see that there's just clean and then you have the outside one which is higher than the OGL which it has all the way around so that's my track design and my surface tie and also surface boundaries completed in TVC thanks